As a junior exploration company focused on making mineral discoveries, Quaterra has the experience and expertise to identify, acquire, evaluate, and develop those areas of mineral resources that can generate large high-grade mining opportunities. But just as one great discoverer, Alexander Graham Bell said, all really big discoveries are the results of thought. At Quaterra, we understand that success doesn't happen overnight, and it doesn't happen alone. It takes lots of planning, and close collaboration with a network of industry people, consultants, and regulators. Beyond teaming with experts who can help us identify projects with the most potential, we're also dedicated to working closely with the local communities to ensure that any impact that our business has on a region and the people that live there is a positive one. When it comes to corporate responsibility, Quaterra is leading the way by partnering with those communities in which we have projects, ethically, transparently, and with respect to their cultures and traditions, land, and economy, we're proving that when we work together, we all prosper. Our team of professionals brings 150 years of international experience uh, in exploration and mining to the Yarrington District. In that time, we've learned what it takes to ensure that we're being a good corporate citizen. From our health and safety programs, to our environmental stewardship, to our community relations. This is not only the right thing to do, but it creates a strong foundation for successful projects. But it goes a lot further than just having the right policies and programs in place. At Quaterra, we've built a culture here based on commitment and trust. Sustainability is a philosophy we put into action every day at Quaterra's project sites. In Yearington, Nevada, for example, long-term opportunities are being forged through a portfolio of three exploration and mining projects operated under an indirect wholly owned subsidiary known as Singazi Peak Services. The MacArthur Project, the Yearington Project, and the Bear Deposit that make up the Yearington District. My association with the MacArthur Project dates back to uh, 1971, and the desert looked a lot just like the sagebrush here that's in front of me. Uh, there was no pit like you see behind me here. And I came out to the field with my sidekick, a golden retriever named Macho. And Macho and I walked around the desert here, and we got the idea that copper was hidden just below the, the ground surface here. And so we contracted a bulldozer from uh, a local contractor here. We came out in the area where the pit is behind me, and I had the bulldozer make a, a slice in the ground, and it came up just brown, no copper. And we were down about two feet. I said, well, give it another slice. He went again, and it was brown. And I kind of looked at Macho, and he looked at me. We couldn't get kind of nervous about it. But anyway, on the third push, the ground just turned green, and it was all oxide copper. And we had exposed it down about a depth of about five feet below the surface. At Quaterra, we have a unique opportunity here to rekindle uh, a former mining district uh, in, in Yarrington. Uh, we have a very good infrastructure here. Uh, we have significant water rights. We have over 40 square miles of real estate and mining claims. And it's just a really exciting time to be here uh, developing and building a new mine. Quaterra's drilling has shown that the deposit is much larger than I ever thought in 1971. The deposit extends from those hills on the east side there, the low hills where you see the color, goes all the way around, it's on, actually on the other side of that hill, goes around the pit and goes clear up on the skyline there where you see the, the red hill on the gray there. It's over a mile long. And it's really exciting to see Cotera moving forward in the district right now. It's, it's really a rebirth of the Yarrington district with the old MacArthur mine and the old Yarrington mine coming to life again. Uh, Singazi has been very open with the public. They've been out talking to people. The public seems to be very happy with what they're doing and very pleased that they're getting information about what's happening at the mine site and what they're doing. Uh, if Singazi's exp exploration comes out positive, uh, it'll mean more jobs. We have the highest unemployment rate in the nation right now. So anything that brings jobs that are healthy, good jobs for the, the community is what we're looking for. And um, So far, Singazi's hired people through contract or, or their own people. Um, so getting people employed, getting them back into the workforce, and it's been a positive thing for us. One of the major goals of Singazi is to move these projects along with the involvement of the community. That's why we made such a big public outreach to try to get everybody involved, get all concerns addressed, and have everybody on board with this project. Well, I know the mines have been uh, you know, reaching out to, whether it's the local ag owners or the local community, and uh, you know I think they're willing, ready, and able, and want to work in conjunction with uh, property owners in general. The trickle effect on, for Yarrington is going to be huge.
but for the rest of the county and even for Washoe County, suppliers and everybody, it's a win-win. Our assets in the Yerington District provide a unique opportunity to rekindle mining in an established district. We have a significant land position that includes approximately 40 square miles of claims and real estate. The district has well-developed infrastructure, and we have significant water rights to support these mining projects. The area has yet to be systematically explored, and the potential of these projects is very exciting. There may be well over 1 billion tons of material and 6 to 7 billion pounds of copper in these projects. For the Yarrington project, we've confirmed the historic resource and there's additional exploration here that we're going to be doing to upgrade the resource. Uh, we're going to be initiating our metallurgical studies uh, and there's a, just a significant potential for expansion here at the Yarrington site. In addition, we'll be taking care of the legacy environmental issues from previous operators at the site. Our second project in the district is a standalone copper oxide project called the MacArthur Project. Uh, it's going to be a run of mine heap leach operation and we're just beginning the advanced stage work and permitting in 2012. There's also exciting potential for deep porphyry system north of the existing mine. The third project in the district is the Bear Project, a portion of which underlies the Yerrington site that we're here on. It's just a significant opportunity. It's an early exploration uh, and we're just getting started with that one. Quitera believes in the power of discovery. We also believe that any project is a success when it is mutually beneficial to employees, contractors, shareholders, and local community members. Together, through an open dialogue and responsible exploration, mine development, and environmental stewardship, we're reaching out for support from those that matter most, turning today's prospects into tomorrow's opportunities. When we look at any core sample, we see more than just mineral properties. We see the potential for something greater because it's not just about what's in here, it's about what's in our core, too. What do we stand for as a company? And if you ask anyone at Quotera, they'll tell you what drives us. Responsibility. Responsibility for being a good steward of these natural resources for the mutual benefit of all of those around us. That's what real discovery is. That's what Quotera is. And I'm proud to be part of it.